Welcome back, my dear friends, to some more Omori, and what is most likely the very last episode of this series. Now, in my 12 years of commentary, I seldom have these anxious feelings about ending a series. The last time was Undertale, and that was like five years ago. And it's mostly because that I am a very sentimental and emotional person. And I, and I have what could be considered an unhealthy or excessive, you know, emotional connection to what could be, you know, meaningless to most people. It's like, yeah, it's only a YouTube series, you only make some commentary, whoop to do But in the sense of documenting and um, experiencing something for the first time and how much this game has affected me on a deep level, it truly is something special to me. And I can't believe that we're already here. So many episodes later, so many hours. I've never ever done so much commentary for a game in this time span since we started. So, you know, in short, special to me. I love it. And I am truly grateful for all of the people who have, you know, enjoyed this series or watched it or caught some glimpses here and there. And uh, here we are. It is most likely the very last part. Uh, unless they, you know, update the game. I've seen that they did that sometimes on Steam. And there is a lot of p potential with extended black space with all those locked doors. Hopefully the community or whatever could um, figure out the way so we can explore more doors. And before I forget, I also did some reading uh, before starting this part. And it seems like this game, um, you know, very similar to Undertale, has something called a WTF value. In Undertale, there was a, um, a fun value that was, you know, a random number between 0 and 100 when you started your, your file. And depending on what number you get, unique things will happen to your playthrough. It could be anything from special rooms to encounters or line of dialogues, small things, and uh, very rarely big things. And this game apparently also has one of those. So you can get some unique elements here and there, depending on what value your file gets. And that is interesting. I can't wait to, you know, see more and read about all the different things you can experience. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to spoil that for me, because I, this is a game I will replay more than once in my life. And when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, I will buy it and play it again. So getting, you know, caught by surprise is a little bit more fun. It's once again a theme of closure. If I know exactly all the outcomes, then, you know, then it's over and you already know everything. Anyway, holy shit, we are talking a lot. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, today is the last day of May, May 31st. And we have so much to talk about, which is great. But I don't know how much of it we are going to talk by standing here. The thing is, when we start the boss rush, I'm not going to be able to you know, concentrate and talk about these things. Maybe we can do this afterwards. I'm just afraid that I will lose my train of thought. But okay, let's do it like this. I will do the boss rush now. And once we're done with that, we're going to go around and just let out all of our thoughts and feelings. And then we'll see what happens. So yeah, we'll leave that on the shelf for now. Let's do the boss rush and see what kind of content awaits us here. I think we're ready. I don't um, think that it's gonna be that much of a challenge, but hopefully it will be. Hey, remember me? I'm Boss, and welcome to the Boss Rush Challenge. I've been doing a lot of inner reflections since my days on the playground. Using the latest innovations in technology, I have devised an ultimate challenge for only the coolest challengers. Down here, you'll be able to experience simulations for fights that you have fought before, but stronger. So are you interested in taking on the Boss Rush Challenge? Yeah. Awesome, -o. Let's get you all set up here. Okay. I'm assuming these are like rewards or trophies you can unlock. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Like, are there different um, difficulty levels for it? And done so. You head all the way to right to the teleporter. Your first battle will start right away. And remember to heal up. Mary was so nice to bring one of her picnic blankets. And you should stock up on snacks and toys at the mailbox while you're at it. Good luck out there. Go get him. <coughs> yeah, sure. Gotta get some water after that. Bring it. 
I don't know. I don't need to go into the technical things for this episode, but we're, we're recording it in a different way. Hopefully, it's gonna turn out well. You'll see later. Woo! This is Tussle Among Leaves, I believe, the song. So, yeah, just fuck him up, dude. He has to beat down <laughs> last resort to every single fight. No. A tickle and. Um... Oh, wait, we don't have the juice recovery. Mesmerize. I mean, is there any point? How about you recover some juice to our friends? Where is it? This one, the melon smoothie. I don't think we're gonna need the emotions for now. Maybe later. Yeah, this takes me back to the second episode. We fought this thing and Hero taught us about the, the energy and all out attacks. Now we're doing our own all out attacks <laughs> with the red hands and beat down. Okay, he survived. He is definitely a lot tougher. How far? Yeah, he's almost dead. You see, we get our juice back if um, Hero just spams that shit, so... Yeah, just go ahead and finish him off. Tickle! And do a single recovery to Omori. 50%, 25% should be enough. Unless he dies now, I think he will. Man, I can't believe we're here! Fuck! Last episode! I don't want this! This music and that boss just takes me back to episode 2. Like, okay, can we go back to that part, you know, not knowing anything? Now we know too much! What is this, Pokemon? Oh, there. Download window. Woo! It's the Majora's Master. Holy fuck, is that Mary hanging from the tree? It is! No. It's definitely something. That doesn't look very tree-ish. Oh, Omokat, oh, why you do this? Download window. Okay, dude. How about last... <laughs> I kind of want to do it. Yeah, beat down. Tickle. It's the ultimate strategy. What else do you need in life? Melon smoothie. Chaos assembly. You know, if they had, um, like, an item restriction, or even different difficulty levels every time you beat this uh, rush mode, th th there, there's so much potential here to make this boss rush uh, interesting and difficult. Now, we haven't seen everything yet, but I'm assuming it's not gonna be anything super special. But yeah, hopefully I'm wrong, but I can already see a lot of the potential here for different, um, you know, variations and difficulties. You know, look at Final Fantasy VII in Gold Saucer. You have this battle where you're only Cloud against these enemies. And you have this lottery slot system and you have different challenges coming at you, like all the attack material are gone or half of your health is gone between the fights. Like, th this system, this game's fighting system is... it's diverse enough and I... I don't know, I, I wish to see more in future updates or whatever. It's very nice. Has two more, I don't think we need that. Oh, I forget. <laughs> Maybe we should keep our health up, just in case. But anyway, we will see what happens after the boss rush. Then I can complain. I wonder how far this is gonna go. We're gonna fight, you know, Sweetheart and... Oh yeah, you were wrong, turn back. We're gonna fight the uh, Omori at the end, but that's a scripted battle, kind of, so... I don't think that's gonna happen. SpaceX boyfriend, excuse me? Okay, I get it, That's that was his name when we fought him the first... When, yeah, the first time. So I get it. How about some stick time? So no scripted events with, uh, you know, emotions and shit, like the other bosses had? Oh yeah, okay, never mind, here we go. He becomes angry. Which is good, you know, less defense. Okay, he is doing some damage. Snack time is on its way though. So more just hang in there. But I have... Never mind, I'm gonna talk about these things after the boss rush. You know, in case people only want to hear my thoughts, they can skip to after the boss rush. This is the gameplay part, gonna stick to it. 
Uh, same strategy. <laughs> Don't fix what isn't broken, right? So, Melon. It's just way too strong. Seven attacks, 100% crit, so there's no reason to be happy or manic or whatever. Ecstatic. Yeah. At least this, at least this guy talks. But the, the, yeah, the last one didn't. It's just a download window. <laughs> I wonder how difficult Sweetheart will be. Maybe you can fight Perfect Heart again, even more difficult. No, I know, I know that's not true. Becomes furious. Yeah, I don't think I'm afraid of that. Does he even have an ultimate attack? He's almost dead either way. Uh, but yeah, do snack time just in case. But definitely an item restriction would make this uh, a lot interesting. And with that, he's dead. Oh my heart. I still don't have a voice for him. Oh, that one! What was it called? About a bunch of Sprout Mode's uh, centipede. King Crawler. That's a fitting name. They're all so sad. Doesn't matter though. We just continue with the strats. We will. We definitely need some uh, juice back. 150? Yeah, I think that should be good. Just listen to that uh, jammer. Not too bad. I do wonder how long it will take be uh, before it comes out on the Nintendo Switch. It would definitely work you know, very well on that system. The game only had one, uh, you know, end, uh, game ending, um, you know, script. I think it was below Snow Globe Mountain, the game just turned off. Oh yeah, that was because we got all of the keys for the Hangman puzzle and the game turns off. But they could do the same thing as uh, Undertale did and just reset the game instead of turning it off, so whatever. Snick. But I definitely can't wait to replay the game in my, in, on my own and just fully immerse myself in it. Especially Faraway Town, as I said many times now. I feel like there's a lot of content there uh, that I didn't really you know, absorb. <laughs> Didn't, it all didn't really st stuck to me. So it's gonna be nice to see that again. And hopefully some future updates uh, to the game will add some you know, fun things here and there. Oops, I forgot about the healing mechanic. <laughs> 185, okay, dude. He almost dead, so whatever. Where's my 150 health? I don't have it anymore, right? Jeez, we, no, that's hearts. We want... Uh, uh, never mind. Melon. And that's all she wrote. What else? No, not the... Uh, Sir Swing a lot. <laughs> I don't forget. Oh, we fight all three at the same time. That is a... That's a nice uh, twist on it. I don't think we did that, right? We didn't fi fight all three at once. Sir Maximus, all three. Okay, this could actually be difficult. We need to... Oh, we don't have the attack all uh, creatures move. Uh, the... What was it called? Ultimate attack something. Hmm, so what do we do? You just go for one at a time? Because uh, Last Resort is also for one enemy. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, we need to... Let's see... Okay, uh, wait with the beatdown. And instead we need to recover some... Some juice. And then Kel do the tickle, of course. And then... Hero will be the tank for this. You can just 
yeah, defend. Unless they do, you know, multi-hits or whatever it's called. It's so confusing to say that for me because multi-hits sounds like, uh, you know, red hands. You're attacking one creature with several hits. And then area of effect is when you attack several creatures at once with one attack. But how do you say that? It's just area of effect is more like a 3D environment. So multi-target hit? I guess that's what you can call it. Yeah, a multi-hit and a multi-target attack. There we go! <laughs> we figured it out. It makes sense now. Uh, half health. Okay, good. Beat down and end his... Oh, I think he will die from the next one. So we can start... No, never mind. Just, just end it. And that, yeah, mesmerize is really good. And I like that we have the different uh, battle themes for each uh, boss here. Kind of like a what is it? Not not melody. Medley. That that's the word. Cannot fail now. Ultimate attack. Okay, but that's gonna hit everyone. Yeah. Okay. I also heard on the Discord server that there is um like a modded difficulty uh, for this rush mode, which is um, you know mo more difficult than Perfect Hearts. But uh, that is exactly what it is. It's a modded difficulty, so yeah, no thanks. Um, I guess you can do exploit for now on this guy. Take him down. Tickle. But we need to recover health uh, right now. Where's my chase wheel? Where is the, the, the whole kick and No, which one is it? I think uh, chase wheel is the best multi target healing, you see? <laughs> yeah, okay, that wasn't so strong. Fuck! Kel Toastman! Will I actually die here? No, it's still uh, a crit even though Kel is gone, so that's uh, it, that's interesting. I thought Tickle only worked, you know, as he is tickling them. But no, it, it, he starts the tickling and then doesn't really matter. Okay, we need to do a recovery round here. So Omori will go first. So Dino Gem. Well, that's. Uh, I think it's good to save that. Then it would be Aubrey's turn. So we go ahead and heal everyone. No cone. Yeah, whole kick in. Of course, that's the best one. And then uh, the juicers. That should be good. A hole? Okay, okay. Kick in time. Very nice. And some juice. Or not. But I can imagine that uh, the Sir Maximus fight would be really difficult on the modded. Because it's, you know, it's three bosses at the same time. Or mini bosses, I guess you could say. Now, let's get him out of here. Bait down and tickle and whatever. Uh, snack time? How much does snack time do? It's 40%, so that's like... Yeah. I think it's better. Although it does uh, cost the juice, but he will get some back every turn, so... It's a nice equip he has. Oof. Yeah, Mesmerize definitely doesn't work here. They always attack everyone. The snack time is like... How much is it? 222. For Aubrey. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Get him out of here! Do we need... It? Yeah, okay. Just, just... And I don't think we need Tickle for that, so we'll do a recovery round here. And snack time again. I wonder how this game will look in the future. You know, maybe some updates, maybe some fan patches. You know, speaking of mods, maybe there will be a randomizer mod, maybe? Or an open world mod, you can go wherever you want. As I said, there's a lot of potential with this game's uh, you know, mechanic and whatever. You know, I, I bring up Undertale a little bit too much, of course, but 
it's because there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of fan games, you know, based on the game's lore. I, I myself haven't tried them, but, you know, it, it's really interesting how, how far you can take a game. From pure love. From the fans. And also, once we're done with the boss rush, I have some uh, really good news to share with everyone. Okay, we need to be careful now. More is getting low. Yeah, snack time isn't so good for um, Omori and Kel because of their max HP. He's almost dead, so we can just attack normally. Yes, uh, Kel, recover. So we'll do we'll use the kick. The chicken, you see? I can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's just so fun to say kicking. Release energy! I don't think there's a point, but whatever. <laughs> Other attacks were stronger. Okay, what now? It uh, should be sweethearts. Oh, cutscene! No, it's oh, what? Hey, congrats! You've earned the cool trophy. I'll go ahead and display it in the lobby for you. But where's my sweet, my sweetheart battle? There we go. Just the first, like milestone. It's a cutscene! Oh, You! Hey, this is the Bready Steady Go boss fight? No? Is it? Okay, I am scared of this guy. I, I I really am. Lower his defense and shit. We need the kick in. And we need to... Should we do the emotion thing? Yeah, we'll do that. Two hundred sixty-two. Yeah, the, the kick in is insane. It feels uncomfortable. He doesn't look uncomfortable though. Oh, we broke his glass. He should be dead. Explains the benefits of life jam. Is that a one-hit kill? No. It's based on life jam. We got life. Okay, thanks. Wait, I have to? But I don't want to. I want to destroy his ass. So, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna stare. We're gonna be sad. We're gonna be sad. <laughs> Anything else? We can... Yeah, we can reduce this attack again, but... We also need to get some juice back, so let's do that. Where is my melon smoothie? I think I might be overestimating this boss, but you never know. He was so weird the last time in Otherworld, killing us in one hit, just, you know, to make us use Life Gem. And now seeing him again, we're all depressed. So show me what you got. Okay. Nice. Use the life jam, it really works. So shut your fucking face! I'm gonna use my last sword and you can't do shit about it! And then we need to... Wait, can I preemptively use... Dino Jam? Fuck. Fuck. Well, I can use the jam packets, but... We only have one left! Fuck! He will most likely be dead either way, so... Just snack time? No. <sighs> Here we go. He's about to get. Okay, he still has a lot of defense. Uh, I can, I can, I can understand that. That's some hard-ass glass. But can you take Aubrey's ultimate attack? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. What do I have to say now, boy? He's still going! How? Yeah, I, I will use uh, Life Jam. Just enjoy your free samples. Goodbye. No! Because he was dead. Sweetheart? Yeah! Okay, here we go! No, no dialogue? No laugh? No laugh! Okay, this music though. Oh, ho, ho. Aubrey is back, but it's dangerous. Stare. Power hit, whatever, and then recover health. Fast as fuck. Uh, wait, she's gonna be happy either way. So it doesn't really matter. We can go ahead and be sad right now. Just listen to this jammer. Yeah, there it is! It's been such a long time since we heard it. Fuck, I don't want to be angry, but that's good, though. We're gonna change it now. Now I can dig this. A more difficult sweetheart battle. It's just that the background doesn't fit her at all. But whatever. I can, I can, I can take that. Let's do one more... Pre preparation round, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Many, many talents. Yeah, sure. Sticking to one husband isn't one of them. Are we gonna do last resort? I kinda want to. But she doesn't have full HP, so it, it's not gonna work that well, but whatever. We'll uh, do beat down for now. Tickle. And then. Uh, in time. Do your worst, sweetheart. Ha! <laughs> She's too happy, so she missed. Woo! 800 times 4, roughly. Mm hmm. It's pointless. You fools. You cannot dump it. My positive energy. She became happy. But she, she already was. You dare raise your fists at me. Should be gobbling on your knees. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, the audio glitched out there. I hope it doesn't uh, affect the recording. Oh, my beauty and grace. It's about the same everything. It's a shame that you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. Static. She's already there. I'm about to end this bitch's whole career. I don't need to, though. She's gonna die from attacking normally. Uh, m m more smoothie, please. If we even have the chance. I can just imagine tickling the sweetheart when she's ecstatic, how that's gonna look and sound hilarious. <sighs> don't you attack my juice? Mm -mm -mm. How you like them apples? with the audio, it's glitching out. Fuck. Ah, I see you're still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. Oh, 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 oh. She's manic, and she's dead. No, is this what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You are nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants. Yeah, but we're a bunch of winners, too. Uh, he's bringing the entire fucking desk. Okay. But this music is awesome, though. Boys, would you be so kind as to show these kids the way out? Um. Oh yeah, we can't attack him. I, I, I remember now. Why is this so fucking tasty? I love it. Mm, so how do we do this then? Uh, I wonder how much health they have. Melon smoothie. 
Is that enough? Shit, I should have brought the... Um, the multi-target attack for Amori. He gone. Okay, so I believe that was... Uh, like seven hit crit hits is enough. He's already calling in a new one! How are we ever gonna f do damage to Jossum? Um, yeah, Melon Smoothie, that's like... What we need. Gone. It gets rough. Ooh -hoo. We're done here? Oh, for fuck's sake. This ain't going anywhere. We're not making any progress at all. We need to call. Do we need to defeat this guy? I don't have any multi hits, fuck's sake. I mean, ricochet, but sure, but no. It's not enough. Where's my Kiken? <sighs> Get out of here, Gator boy. Gator guy. He's just gonna call again now, right? Is it scripted? Oh, he's calling from the phone. It's Jossum, yeah, okay. But will he run out of guys, or should I try to attack him right away? I don't think that's gonna work. Fick! Uh, let's try it. See if we can tickle Jossum. Zero? Yeah. Okay, we're attacking all of them by attacking Jossum. Oh, I get it. They're literally bodyguards, <laughs> right? So last resort isn't uh, worth it either. Okay, I get it now. It's been a while since we did this boss battle. Oh, he angry. Should we be happy then? You know, that's a valid strat. So, let's see. We do have... Uh, happy on all friends. No, we don't. Oh, there we go. Confetti. Uh, yeah, do that. We have two of those. And then, how about some... Some smoothie. Melon smoothie and a whole chicken to share with your friends. I don't know, it, it could work, but it would also get old pretty quickly. Confetti! And there's no confetti on the screen. My I am My disappointment is in immeasurable. <laughs> Unmeasurable. Stop attacking my hero man! Man, being happy sucks. I still have my crits. I mean, I, I, there's nothing worth it. Okay, we're, we're faster, but we already were kind of faster than all of them, so it doesn't help in any way. But anyway, let's just attack like this. No need for tickle, I guess, so we can just attack with Kel instead? I guess that. Oh, Ricochet was the one enemy. Never mind. I was wrong. Mesmerize? Is that gonna help? I think they're gonna die, so there's no point. So, yeah. Man melon smoothie. Fucking Kel, stop! They're gone. What you gonna do now, boy? How did it miss? There's no one to guard him. Look at this! 
there we go, man. Ecstatic sucks. Oops. I skipped the text. We're all maxed out, so that's good. How about that last resort? I'm gonna use it on the Pluto dude. I've been here before. Can we do something else? Can we talk about this? Ricochet. All right, I don't have a hit increase. That uh, is definitely a problem. Mesmerize, whatever. Hit him this time, Kel! We're ecstatic and we get no crits! There we fucking go! Yeah, we should have battle text speed on fast. The guy, the guy who runs them out gets free pizza. On me! Woo! What do you mean we're running below on henchmen? That's impossible. Yeah, we need uh, better contracts, my friend. Two crits. I'm fine with that. Okay, he almost gone. So, Melon. No, wait, that should be afterwards. Right? It doesn't matter. Can't catch me. Ricochet. And then uh, Smoothie Man. Unless he did. Which I think he will be. Unless Kel can start hitting for once. Mm-hmm. How you like him? What's with your background? Okay. You let yourself be foiled by a bunch of children. What are they even hiring for? I don't want to do his voice ever again. My throat hates it. Give me golden vengeance! I am so ready for this. Woo! Behold, this is my final form. Can you feel the heat? I can. Expanded to Pluto. We can be... Uh, we can be saint. And we can make him happy. I don't think he has a... An emotion thing. Maybe the next form will actually be here now because Jossum isn't stopping him. Oh my god. And this music is kick ass. You know, I typically don't enjoy this type of music that much, but every once in a while it just comes along and it's so. Fucking good. Uh, what else? Reduces hit rate for the turn. Yeah, I don't know, dude. We'll do... We'll do some... Uh, melon. <clears throat> and snake type. Yeah. You know exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> look at my pecs, I'm King Grams. Do I look like I give a fuck? Now it's time to end this. Red Hands, Last Resort, Tickle. And uh, that's all she wrote. I think. Can someone calculate the total damage here? It's gonna be insane. Here we go. Attack them, Pecs Aubrey. Headbutt them. Mm -mm -mm. Woo! 5k! How do you like him? Uh, I see. You have all gotten stronger, but so have I. No! What is this? Can't, okay, he's maxed out, but... Um... <laughs> 10 damage! <laughs> Excuse me, good sir! 
I can't hear you um, from my 5,000 damage attack. He's still alive, though. That's insane. Uh, life uh, jump, please. And uh, hold kicking. She back in action. Ba bam. And that's it. Mm, well done, children. You've come a long way. But I'm not finished yet. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be so epic. Right? Oh, come on. What a dick tease. Hey, congrats. You earned the cooler trophy. I'll go ahead and display the log for you. Can I battle um, the sisters, the, the marine girls, and the Humphrey? Oh, yes, baby. I have seen enough. I need this on my wall right now. Am I ready for this, though? Shit. Wait, they're all one entity. That's great, because uh, it's stair time. And then we need to be sad. Sad. We need to recover. No, wait, we don't. It's only Aubrey. I think she's fine for one more turn. But Melon Smoothie would be nice. And then make them uh, happy. Mm -mm. You know, the battle would be much more difficult if it wasn't one entity. I mean, one target. No, not the random emotions! Fuck! I do not like this. Hey! Perfectly timed, Aubrey. Uh, another stair, another, no, not jacks, another rain cloud, should be good. Recover her health, 80%, well, that's a lot of sodium in ramen, sure. Uh, snow cone, why not, she's gonna do some insane damage. And they can't get happier, so what should Mr. Hero do? That is a good question. I'm thinking, uh, I don't know. We are gonna recover her health, so let's get some juice back, whatever. We have so many of them, right? 21, but still. Whoo, 831! Oh, I forgot about the rain cloud. Why didn't I? Never mind. Aubrey had that. I'm getting uh, a bit unfocused here. So many battles in a row. So now it's time for last resort. Right? I don't think you're gonna die from that, but still, we'll, we'll do it because it's fun. Last resort, tickle. And uh, yeah, whatever. Melon. But why are you? F why is Omori first? You're both depressed for fuck's sake! Where's my tickle? Hmm. You kids are more resilient than I expected. You know what that means? It's time to get serious! Ooh, Molly! Oh wait, I'm having so much fun! No, not angry, fuck! No, not the last resort on angry! And there's no tickle either! And she doesn't have juice! God damn! Okay, good thing she didn't kill herself, but now he tickles! Kill, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is uh, getting out of hand. <laughs> um, damn it. What should I do then? Kicking? No, you need to recover your health uh, fully. On your own. Where is it? 100% use, 250. Heal. There we go. 
Spaghetti for Aubrey. That's nice. Uh, other than that, I don't know, dude. Ricochet or something. Wait, we need to make them happy. I'm so stupid. Hero. It's not your fault, but still. Ouch. Is he gonna die? Whew. Okay, Hero will go first next turn with his Dazzle. <coughs> So maybe last resort uh, then? Yeah, whatever. We'll do that. Tick. Tickle and uh, dussel. Now please tickle, Kel! Fuck! Aubrey, you better crit or else I'm gonna be pissed. No, 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 don't do it again, don't! What? No, she's gonna do last resort with low health! Oh! Am I gonna die here? No, she's angry! This is so bad! Unless it actually kills them, I don't think it will though. Like 2000 damage, five, oh my god. Oh yeah, I forgot about her health, of course. This is dangerous! Fuck, we don't even have any juice! I'm underestimating them so badly and they're lowering our stats. Fuck! Are you guys done yet? Oh, okay, Mario will go first, right? Jam packets and then kick him. We're just gonna spam the kicks. Please. Oh my god. That was way too close. Yes. Woo! Okay, we need to be sad now. Fast as fuck. Rain cloud. Double rain cloud? No, that's, there's no point. Oh. Okay, okay. I think I think it's uh, okay. But it's a little bit uh, too close for comfort. You know, I, I am happy that we got some uh, challenge here, because I let my guard down. Where's my rain cloud, Aubrey? Oh wait, it's a worry. Okay, okay. We're topped up. It's time to end this uh, career once and for all. Beat down. But I don't, I don't get why Kel is so freaking slow, I don't... I don't get it. M maybe they lowered his stats or something. And then we have Humphrey. You call that damage? There we go. You kids are a lot tougher than you look. <laughs> this is much more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> what a p predicament. How will we feed Humphrey now? He's not even here. Wait, we're literally inside of him. Wait, we're gonna fight Humphrey inside Humphrey and be inside Humphrey? Oh. Yeah. Time to feast, time to feast, time for you to be diseased. Yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, sure, I, I, I can dig. I can also tickle you, I'm afraid. How you like that, you filthy piece of shit. Yeah, I don't think there's a 
uh, point to make him happy and us uh, sad. Because uh, every face is going to be a new face, right? <laughs> so we need to make him happy every time. It's going to be annoying. So we just attack him like this. But goddamn, he does have a lot of HP. This could take a while. But that's fine by me. I can do this all day, Humphrey. Intentional rhyming. <laughs> I like his frown and smile up and down every time he gets hit. How is that even considered an attack? Yeah, slow and steady. This time I'm not gonna let my guard down. It was way too close last time. But this is some extremely deep shit. If, if we're talking about layers here, okay? Let's speak layers. First of all, we have real life. You know, me sitting in real life. On my computer, I am inside Omori, the game. And in Omori, I am inside Sunny's, uh, you know, headspace. And in Sunny's headspace, he's in a deeper well, and he's inside Humphrey, and we're inside the, the lab and the, the battle place, and we're inside Humphrey again, and we're gonna just keep on going. It's so freaking deep. It's insane. Like, so many layers where we are. And it makes me feel alone. In a way. We're so deep, but... Um, It's uh, interesting to think about. Yeah, I can still dish out some damage. Can't uh, underestimate him too much. And... Um, yeah, juice. We could have saved like half an hour if we had uh, fast tech speed. But no worries. It's disgusting. The final fight has just begun, but can you win if we work as one? Okay, this time I'm gonna be sad and make him happy. Uh, grande. It doesn't look nice. Rain cloud. Rain cloud. Uh, what else? Dazzle Batero and uh, Kicken with um, Kel. Dazzle. Yeah! Happy Humphrey Grande! Now I'm gonna use last resort. I'm I'm tired of this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, are we gonna do it now? Let's see. We will. Where is it? Melon smoothie. Last resort. Tickle. That, ugh, can't do the preemptive shit. It sucks. Mesmerize, I guess. Show me, Aubrey. Show me your muscles. Woo! Almost 5k. I'm happy with that. I don't think it's enough though. He whiffed. That yeah, was half. Okay, so he has 10k HP, it seems. Kel will go first, right? So... Good thing we have a bunch of gems. Bunch of jammers. 
It reminds me of Hyperbeam, you know, making um, Aubrey use Last Resort. We need to spend the next four turns to recover and get ready. It's like a recharge period. So you should you know, maybe end with the Last Resort, as the name implies, but this is kind of fun as well. So we will do it again. So let's see here. Rain Cloud. Last Resort. And that's about it. Yeah, it, it's just like Hyper Beam. <laughs> now we can do it again. Mm hmm. That should be it, right? No, wait, it shouldn't. That's not. It's about to get smelly. It's time for you all to get in my belly. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we should stop. Should stop now. Stop underestimating. <laughs> so this one has 10k HP as well, right? be surprised. Uh, life jam and then uh, chicken. Not the dino jam. Life jam. Make him uh, happy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it works. We we can't see that he's happy, but he is. So, last resort again. It doesn't matter how quick or how slow. The more you struggle, the deeper we'll go. So there's no point to attack him, right? Whatever, he's already swallowing us with the same face. It... I think it is. Yeah, it, it should be. So... Chicken, last resort. Tick. No, wait. She. She's not sad though. It's not gonna be that strong. Let's just attack normally then. But she isn't sad. That uh, kind of sucks. But we'll have to make do. Yeah, of course she goes uh, first now. My Omori dude is miserable. Which is kind of good. We will do a lot of damage. <laughs> that switching emotion on his face. <laughs> Looks like a worm. Just relax, there's nothing to fear. Hey Omori, is it getting stuffy in here? Uh, do what you gotta do. He's doing a lot of damage to my juice, and now I can't use my red... Yeah, yeah, I can. Red hands is still on the menu, boys. How much health does he have, though? Okay. Red hands. Beat down. Tickle. And kicking. Need to be a little bit more safe here. <laughs> does zero damage. No, he can't use red hands anymore. Fuck! That was very smart of him. Yeah, look at that. Such a smart fella. Cookie meat is very fun. You should be rare, medium, rare, medium, or well done. No juice at all anymore. Very resilient. Umori, that is. <sighs> okay, then. You know, fuck it. We just recover everything. Where is it? 80%? There was something about. No, that's heart. Fuck. There we go. Watermelon juice on yourself. 
hold kicken. And what else? I don't know. Oh, could have used the rain cloud, but I didn't. It's getting so dark now. It's pointless to squirm. Give up, my friend. I'm afraid this cycle will never end. Hey, nice, miss. Okay, can we actually fight this time? It did nothing, but it still took my juice, so it did. Mm-hmm. No need to squirm. Ignorance is bliss. How many times must we do this? Oh. I'm getting tired of your shit, Tom Frey. Dead right, or yeah, the next form. Man, this is a lot of health in total. Look at this shit. How much? Thank fuck. We're done now. <laughs> hey, congrats! You earned the coolest trophy. I'll go ahead and display it in the lobby for you. Wow! No secret boss. We're done now. Oh, it went black in one frame. That scares me. Whew. Wow, we really completed the boss rush challenge. Congrats, cool guys. Seriously, you're the coolest. Yeah, that's nice. Th that's it? I want my candy. Nutritious candy. Feel like new. This is great. Participation ribbon. It's not very cool. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Okay, that doesn't look very um, safe for work. It's pretty cool. Okay, now it does. Cool trophy. This trophy, <laughs> trophy is cooler than the cool trophy. Yeah, it did. I mean, it is the coolest trophy. This trophy is the coolest. And that's it! I'm done! I'm just done, flat out done with all the content that Omori has to offer. Now I'm depressed and I don't know what to do. I'm... Ah! Mary! Congratulations on beating the boss rush. The rush, everyone. Here's a little gift from me. I made with all my love. <laughs> Mary's cookie! Oh! One cookie, how are we gonna share that? I can't believe you guys beat the boss rush. You guys are the coolest. I'm so lucky to have friends as strong as you. See, that was a better reward. You guys really put on a great show. Basil and I watched you on the big screen over there. We were both uh, at the edge of our seats. That's it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Save, save time, I guess. Oh, my dear good friends. Especially, you know, the ones who have watched or listened to this entire series. We are here. It's the final final uh, section of this entire series. Um, you know, until they add something new. Updates or whatever. So I'm thinking right now, where would be a good place to end it? I mean, credits are always uh, well and good. 
we could go out to Sunny World and just you know, end the game and have one of those pre-rendered shitty ass quality artifact credits. Uh, yeah, that, that could be good. But we could also end it where we began in white space. Which should be nice. But man, what what uh... boss rush was uh, cool. A little bit too much. Um... What is it? Uh, bullet sponge or damage sponge on Humphrey there, just spamming damage. But overall, it's a cool boss rush. It could be more interesting. Well, we, we didn't really check it, but there was no room for more trophies, so I don't believe there's anything else we can do there. But yeah, it was it was nice. Let's uh, go back. Deep well, please. Let's see, where do we want to end it? Neighbor's room would be nice. Come back anytime. Or we could just run around, uh, go around in the world while I talk about random shit. That's also a possibility. Wait, hold on! I'm not ready yet! Freaking chocobo music. Okay. We will. Snow globe is pretty nice, but it's also sad. Kind of fits in a way. But never mind, we will end it in Vast Forest in the beginning. Or Sunny. Yeah. But Headspace is so nice. I want to stay here. Maybe we can go to Basil's house. Okay, so I was talking about, um, a, you know, big news. And this is something that's uh, really special to me because I, end, I started this series uh, right at the end of my former job. So I lost my job, I had a little break from the series, I came back and then we did the entire series during my unemployment. And so it's been in that section of my life, life or chapter. And then I was talking about, uh, you know, applying to this recreational leader job in the last uh, parts. And now, a couple of days ago, I got the job. They, they wrote me an email and said, hey, uh, we want to offer you a job now as a recreational leader full time. And it's like, uh, what is it, uh, 500 meters away from where I live? So I can just walk there very easily or maybe a little bit more. But still, I can just walk to work super easy, super comfortable. I've already been there in the place. I, I put up some images on my Twitter page so you can check that out and you can you know read my updates and feelings about it. Oh, there's no music. No home for flowers music. That's sad. So yeah, I, I think it's so special. You know, once again, the sentimental, excessive emotional connection to this series and how it's connected to my life. But yeah, this is the end. And you know, the next chapter of my life is gonna be, you know, a new game when it comes to commentary, but also a new job. Something I, you know, want to work with. Being a leader and um, hopefully it's gonna be well. I, I do have some negative feelings uh, regarding it, but it's mostly my anxiety and uh, paranoia of things that could go wrong. A lot of things could and will be very nice and fu fun there. But there are some things that uh, worries me, and it's kind of controversial to say, but at this point, who's even listening? And uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I might as well just flat out say it. But uh, they've had some troubles with, um, you know, non Swedish kids going there and being very. not following the rules and also threatening people and uh, the pers personnel and. Um, yeah, the people who work there. Uh, some horror stories, you know, things that you should be prepared that could happen. But of course, it's not, it's not all the time. But it, it kind of scares me at the same time. Uh, how this country has evolved over the years. It's very controversial to talk about, but it's my feelings towards it. Um, I feel pretty uncertain. A little bit... Little bit um, uncomfortable with it how, how it's looking but never mind overall I think the work is gonna be nice and the, the most important thing is that this series ends you know it started with my unemployment kind of 
And now it ends with me getting em em employed. And I, I will not start until August, so it will be like two months until I start. But the news is still here in this series. So yeah, that, that's the, the big news. Hopefully that's gonna go well. I'm gonna have a meeting tomorrow with the, the boss. And we're gonna talk a little bit about, you know, times and money or whatever. We shall see. But the job is mine. That's great. But yeah, be sure to follow my Twitter for more updates on, you know, life things. Um, you can join my new Discord server if you want to you know, just talk with some of the random friends I have in this small little cozy community. Mostly the Twitch viewers are there. And then, of course, Twitch. It would be very nice if you could follow my Twitch channel as well, because I stream there from time to time. Just playing games, having fun, talking. It's just like this series right here, but it's live. But it's not a you know complete series. I don't have to play the entire game, but sometimes I do. I mostly just stream to have fun and talk. Other than that, my dear, my dear friends, thank you all so extremely much for watching this entire series. Or maybe you just watched um, the Hikikomori route. That's fine too. But my entire. <laughs> experience with this game man it's been it's been truly special and it's so sad to see it go and i had this uh, very similar feeling towards undertale because i went into it completely blind and it um, connected with me so strongly it, it's now one of my favorite games of all time and same deal here you know went into this game totally blind i was not really sure what to expect and uh, i am so very pleasantly surprised by this game, and I'm super happy that I have it all documented my first playthrough. Even though it was a little bit, um, you know, back and forth in the beginning with my my feelings towards it, my engagement. I don't know. It just it went up and down a little bit. Also because my life was in a very difficult time right there. But now with everything said and done, it's truly something special. And man. I hate to see it go, but all good things must come to an end. That's just how it is. I can't wait to replay this game on the Switch or, you know, on my own later on and be fully immersed. This game is truly, truly unique for me. And um, I don't know what else I want to talk about. I don't know how, how I'm gonna even formulate myself and uh, my sentences. It's difficult, man. It's just English isn't your native language. Um. But I love it. I really do. And I hope you enjoy or enjoyed this game and this series and my commentary or whatever. It just... I have no words for it. And I don't want to leave it, I really don't, but this is it. I can't find anything else in this game that we haven't seen or done. I will later on you know, rewatch or listen to this uh, series and try to relive that whole uh, feeling of awe. The whole experiencing it for the first time can try to fool myself in a way it's great now i just have to decide what else i'm gonna do you know before this uh, series i didn't really have any offline classic commentary series where i show everything of a game and being blind and i have to be honest it is um you know, stressful. This whole series and, you know, doing it, sitting down, recording, being nervous and... Uh, <laughs> the pile is getting bigger. <laughs> That's cool. Wow! Wow, I'm happy we got to see that. And then it starts over. That's cool. Wow. I wonder if there are more of those things we can see hanging out in other spots. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how much. I can't promise anything. I, I do want to do more commentary and try to have 
you know, fun and let loose. You know, it could be blind, it could be a game I love just to express myself and have a good time. And I know it, it isn't always entertaining. And I'm never really gonna go far with this uh, formula I have on my channel. But that's fine, you know, I'm not doing this to build a big audience or make money. I'm doing this entirely for myself. Or not entirely, but I'm doing this mostly for myself because I think it's fun and it's good practice for me with English and it's documenting. So it's a lot, uh, you know, only for my own, for myself. But then everything else, you know, people watching it and having a good time, that's a huge bonus and I appreciate it so very much. I really do. But I'm gonna stay true to myself and what I think is uh, fun. I've struggled way too often on YouTube during my, like, what is it now, 14, 14 years on YouTube or whatever, it's a lot. Many times I've struggled, you know, having different channels to appeal different audiences and you know, not, not always staying true to what I want to do. But now I want to. And everyone's support is, uh, yeah, it's great. I really do appreciate it. I love this game. I really do. Please go out and buy it. Buy the soundtrack on Bandcamp or on Steam or whatever. Listen to the soundtrack, play the game. Let other people know that it exists. And if you know any other people who, you know, this game could connect with. Then, uh, yeah, share it with them. It could help and could be an amazing, amazing experience for many people. It's a very melancholic <laughs> to be here and ending it, but um, I'm not gonna drag it out for much longer. I don't think I have anything other truly important things to talk about. I can just say thank you over and over and over and it won't really make much of a difference. So I will do that. I will leave this series here. Hopefully we will return at some point, maybe some updates or whatever. But other than that, in terms of the overall main story and the main themes of this game, I think we have seen and experienced everything together. And with uh, that, I hope to see you on future videos, streams, or on Discord, or on Twitter, wh wherever, you know. Hope to see you around. Hope you enjoyed it. And I thank you once again so very much. I'll be signing out here. I have been Crims, and you have all been great. I love you all, take care of yourself, and I'll see you around.